if a equal to 1 2 2 minus 1 then a raised to a 8 is okay we'll write the characteristic equation that is lambda square minus trace of lambda into determinant plus determinant of a equal to 0 which is equal to lambda square minus traces 1 minus 1 which is 0 then plus determinant of a that is 1 into minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 2 which is 4 this is equal to 0 or lambda square minus 5 equal to 0 now we can apply the Cayley Hamilton theorem that is replace lambda by a a square minus 5i equal to 0 or a square equal to 5i then a is equal to uh, a square uh, a raised to 8 we have to find a raised to 8 a raised to 8 is what a square whole raised to 4 this is what we have to find a raised to 8 that is equal to a square whole raised to 4 here this is 5 a square is 5i we already obtained a square as 5i this is 5i whole raised to 4 that is 5 raised to 4 is 625 then i raised to 4 is i therefore the answer is 625i if l m and n are non singular matrix or of, of order 3 by 3 such that l square equal to l inverse m equal to l raised to 8 n equal to l square then determinant of m minus n equal to okay it is given that l square equal to l inverse m equal to l raised to 8 n equal to l square then find we have to find the determinant of m minus n so first we'll take l square equal to l inverse multiply by l l into l square equal to l into l inverse that is l cube equal to l into l inverse is identity matrix i now m is equal to l raised to 8 so l raised to 8 can be written as l cube whole square into l square okay we have uh, l cube as i i square into l square and that is equal to l square now n n is also already given as l square so what is the determinant of m minus n that is m is l square n is again l square that is determinant of 0 which is equal to 0 0 is the answer if a and b are real symmetric matrices of same size which one of the following options is true okay a transpose first option a transpose equal to a inverse this is not true for all, uh, all real symmetric matrix this is true for orthogonal matrix that is for orthogonal matrix a transpose equal to a inverse then next a b equal to b a uh, the matrix multiplication do not follow commutative property so this option is also not true next is a b transpose equal to b transpose a transpose this is the correct option that is this is the reversal law okay when uh, a b transpose equal to b transpose a transpose next option is a equal to a inverse this is true only for involutory matrix so the correct option is option c if matrix a equal to 1 1 1 minus 1 find the eigenvalue of a raised to 13 okay first we'll write the characteristic equation that is lambda square minus trace of lambda plus determinant of a equal to 0 or lambda square minus trace is 1 minus 1 again 0 plus determinant of a that is minus 1 minus 1 equal to 0 or lambda square equal to 2 this means lambda equal to plus or minus root 2 now matrix a has an eigenvalue lambda then matrix a raised to 13 has an eigenvalue by property of eigenvalues the eigenvalue will be lambda raised to 13 so the eigenvalue of a raised to 13 would be lambda raised to 13 that is plus or minus root 2 whole raised to 13 this can be written as plus or minus root 2 whole raised to 12 into root 2 or this is 624 plus or minus 624 sorry 664 root 2 okay so this is equal to plus or minus 64 root 2 If matrix uh, K11K 
x y equal to 1 minus 1 and k is real then the equation have no solution for exactly one value of k have infinite solution for exactly one value of k have infinite solution for infinite value of k and have unique solution for infinite value of k okay first we'll check the condition for unique solution for unique solution determinant of a not equal to 0 here what is the determinant that is k into k k square minus 1 not equal to 0 or k not equal to plus or minus 1 so this equation will have in unique solution for all values of k except plus or minus 1 so this option is true next if lambda a equal to 0 then we'll have two condition either unique sol uh, either infinite solution or no solution or no solution Okay, now uh, and this happens when k equal to plus 1 or minus 1. Now we will check for both the cases that is first put k equal to plus 1. When we put k here as plus 1 this equation will become x plus y equal to 1 and x plus y equal to minus 1. So here we can see that the LHS of both the equations are same and the RHS is different that means this equation will have no solution okay so this equation will have no solution for value k equal to plus 1 that is for exactly one value of k therefore option a is also true now we'll check for k equal to minus 1 and we put k equal to minus 1 this equation becomes minus x plus y equal to 1 second equation becomes x minus y equal to minus 1 now if we multiply the second equation by minus 1 then what we get minus x plus y equal to 1 that is equation 1 and 2 both are same okay that means we have only one equation here in such cases there will be infinite number of solutions okay so infinite solution occurs for k equal to minus 1 that is for exactly one value of k therefore option b is also true c is wrong a equal to a i j 2 n cross 2 n such that a i j equal to minus b for i plus j equal to even uh, uh, beta minus beta for i plus j equal to even and beta for i plus j equal to odd find the rank of a for n greater than 2 okay matrix a is given and how is this matrix that is this is 2 n cross 2n and it is given that n greater than 2 so we can take n as 3 okay now this aij is of, of order 6 cross 6 okay so first element is a11 then a12 a13 etc a16 next element would be a21 a22 a23 etc a26 and similarly the last element would be a61 a62 a63 etc a66 so it is given that aij is minus beta when i plus j is even okay now 1 plus 1 that is 2 which is even then a11 is beta next a12 is 1 plus 2 1 plus 2 is odd therefore this is minus beta for even it is minus beta and for odd it is beta similarly we get minus beta beta minus beta and beta next is a21 that is again odd therefore we get beta next is minus beta beta minus beta beta minus beta okay similarly we get all the terms and last term would be 6 plus 1 that is 7 which is odd again beta minus beta beta minus beta beta minus beta okay now by row operation we can when we add the, these two rows we get the second row as 0 similarly we get by row operation we will get the third row also as 0 fourth fifth and all sixth rows as zeros okay now after row operation we get this as minus beta beta minus beta beta minus beta beta and all the other rows would be zero Same 
up to sixth row. So what would be the rank of this matrix? Rank of this matrix is there is only one non-zero row that is the rank is equal to 1. B1 and B2 are real eigenvectors, are eigenvectors of real symmetric matrix of 3 by 3 corresponding to distinct eigenvalues then V1 transpose V2 equal to 0, V1 minus V2 equal to 0, V1 transpose V2 not equal to 0, V1 plus V2 equal to 0. Okay, we, it is given that V1 and V2 are the eigenvectors. Therefore, by property V1 dot V2 equal to 0. Okay, now the, how will we take the dot, dot product that is V1 transpose V2 equal to 0. This is the dot product. So, answer option A. Uh, matrix A and matrix B are given. Then AX equal to B has no solution, infinite solution, unique solution and two solution. Okay, given matrix A. Equal to 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 1. Now we can write the augmented matrix. That is A b equal to 1 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 0 1 1 here it is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 and 0 now do the row operation that is r2 is r2 minus r1 therefore a b becomes 1 1 1 1 by 3 this all become 0 then last row is 0 1 1 and 0 now we can interchange the second row and third row so we get a b as 1 1 1 1 by 3 0 1 1 0 0 0 0 0 now we get the rank of matrix a and rank of matrix A is to B, augmented matrix. So what is the rank of A? See this. Now the rank of A is 2 and augmented matrix has the rank again rank is 2. So this rank of A equal to rank of augmented matrix AB. So and that is equal to 2 which is less than N that is the number of variable here is 3. Since it is less than n, we have, we can say that this equation has infinite solutions. If a equal to minus 1 minus 1, x minus 4 and its eigenvectors is alpha to alpha, then x equal to, here we can use a x equal to lambda x. A x equal to lambda x. Now put x as this eigenvector. That is a equal to minus 1 minus 1 x minus 4 and x is alpha to alpha equal to lambda alpha to alpha. This is equal to now we can multiply this minus alpha minus 2 alpha. Next is x alpha minus 8 alpha. This is equal to lambda x lambda alpha to lambda alpha now equate the first row that is minus 3 alpha equal to lambda alpha or lambda equal to minus 3 now we will equate the second row x alpha minus 8 alpha equal to 2 into lambda x minus 3 alpha that is x alpha minus 8 alpha equal to minus 6 alpha or x alpha equal to minus 6 plus 8 that is 2 alpha or x equal to 2 this is the answer matrix p equal to 210 minus 100 0, 0, 0 and 1 then p square will be Okay, p square will be equal to 210 minus 100 0, 0, 001 into 210 minus 100 0, 0, 001. 
this will be equal to 2 into 2 4 minus 1 that is 3 okay next term will be 2 will be next term 0 here it would be minus 2 next term would be minus 1 0 okay last will be 0 0 and 1 okay now we will check all the options p square will not be equal to p and p square will not be equal to identity matrix this is p square this is not equal to identity matrix now we will check the other three other two options that is first is p plus i p plus i will be 2 1 0 minus 1 0 0 0 0 1 plus identity matrix that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 this will be 2 1 0 minus 1 1 0 0 0 and 2 this is 3 okay so so this is not equal to p square so option will be third or last option 2p minus i okay we can check that also 2p minus i first multiply 2 with the matrix p 2 1 0 minus 1 0 0 0 0 1 then minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 now multiply each term by 2 this is 4 2 0 minus 2 0 0 0 0 and 2 then minus 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 and this will be equal to 4 minus 1 3 2 0 next term will be minus 2 minus 1 0 0 0 1 so this we got same, same as p square so this will be the correct option